In this lecture, we're going, to, we're going to look at relations, relations between elements of a set. And what can we define using relations? What kind of sets do we get? And what kind of uh, logic do we get out of it? So first of all, let's look at some simple examples. We all know relations from family relations. For example, brother is a relation. Biju is a brother of Chetan. So we write brother, Biju, Chetan. So Biju is first and Chetan is second. Is a brother is a relation. It, it takes two elements of a set and tells you if they are connected. Similarly, a relative. Biju is a relative of Chetan. And then we have lots of relations. So for example, Chetan is the son of David. So we write son, Chetan, David, father, David, Chetan. So one thing we see is it's not symmetric. You can't exchange A and B, uh, Chetan and David. And we exchange it as a different relation. Uh, for example, Chetan is a son of David, but doesn't mean David is a son of Chetan. And then there's a relation called friend we can define. So Eugene is a friend of Farid. And then similarly, we have another Chetan likes Chetna. So we say likes Chetan Chetna. Now similarly, there's no guarantee that A likes B implies B likes A. It's not symmetric again. And you can think about a friend also. When you have a friend, is if you are a friend of somebody, uh, is somebody also your, your friend and vice versa? Well, think about it. So let's see the properties of relations. First of all, we are symmetric. A relation is called symmetric if x y, r x y same as r y x for all x y in the set we are talking about. So is, is the brother symmetric? Is x is a brother of y? Does it mean y is a brother of x? Think about it. So give more examples of symmetric relationships. And more question, are these symmetric, a friend, a parent, a relative, enemy, like, equal to, less than equal to, and I'm going to answer these, you're going to think about these and answer them yourself. And then a relation is called transitive, if x is related to y and y is related to z, that means x is related to z. This is, so. For example, x is a brother of y, by y is a brother of z. Does it mean x is a brother of z? So the question is, is brother transitive? Is friend transitive? If you have a friend and that guy is a friend, are you also that guy's friend? Is relative transitive? You you have a relative and that relative has a relative. Uh, is that a relative? Is parent transitive? Are your parents, parent, your parent? Is taller than transitive? B is taller than B and B is taller than C. Does it mean A is taller than C? Think about it. And the simplest property is reflexive. That means R is called reflexive if X is related to itself. For example, uh, less than equal to is reflexive because X is less than equal to X for all X. Which other properties are reflexive? Anyway, think about it. So let's see what can we, we can define more relations in terms of other relations. So for example, let's look at the relation parent. Parent can be defined in terms of x is a parent of y if x is a mother of y or x is a father of y. So we have parent and then we can draw arrow. So x is a parent of y. Let's look at uh, for all x y in the elements we are talking about. Brother is defined as they have a common parent and X has to be a boy. X is a brother of Y that means X is a boy who is a sibling of Y and they have a common parent. It doesn't say anything about Y being a boy or not. Uncle. Uncle is defined similarly with the as a X is a uncle of Y if Y has a parent Z and Z has a brother X. So we need one more. Uh, so X and Z have a common parent. And then, and where Z is somebody unnamed. We'll look at how to capture the unnamed uh, element in the relationship later on using quantifiers. So we can simplify gender also. We can say X is a sibling of Y if they are brothers or sisters. Parent is defined as mother or father. Child is defined as son or daughter. Spouse is defined as husband or wife. So let's look, look at some exercises. How do you define grandparent? How do you define an aunt? 
how do you find a niece how do you find a cousin so how to do about solving this problem first write it in english if you can't write it in english you can do it mathematically and draw the children below the parents and if you if there's extra variable unknown variables you introduce more variables like z u v and add unnamed uh, relatives into the into the relationship so let's look at the solutions what does a grand grandparent mean x is a grandparent of y if x is a parent of a parent of y you can write it like we need a z which means x is a parent of z and z is a parent of y aunt is defined as x is a aunt of y if x is a sister of y's parent so we need sister and parent y is a child of z and z and x are sisters niece is defined as is a y x is a daughter of y's sibling so we can write daughter as a z is a daughter of x and y is a sibling of z so let's look at niece properly niece x is a niece of y if x is a daughter of y sibling so there is a z whose daughter who's a parent of x and z is a sibling of y the question is are daughter and uh, niece and aunt uh, any in relation no they are not if you really think about it what is cousin defined as cousin is the parents are siblings that means there is a z such that x and y have a common parent and the parent has a common parent u so as parents parents they have a common parents parent so then we have some more difficult exercises uh, how do you define ancestor ancestor is your parent or your parents parents or their parents so the first question you should ask is are your parents your ancestors are your grandparents your ancestors so can you define ancestors in terms of your parents so there you are at the bottom your parents are above you and then your grandparents each parent is a parent and you can draw infinite tree and is it infinite that's the first question you need to answer like eventually does it continue we are go as on, on and on or is it a finite tree okay that we cannot answer but logically we can say we need to define uh, ancestor so let's see how we can do it so ancestor can be defined recursively in terms of itself so x ancestor of x is defined as a parent of x and the ancestors of your parents so basically what this is saying is all your ancestors are your parents and your parents are ancestors we can also define it as an infinite series if we unroll this in a recursive statement that means your parents your parents parents your parents 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 and add infinitum okay so for homework you can think about these how's nephew defined how's uncle defined how's a grandson defined how's mother in law defined how's brother in law defined can you give a definition for relative so i think in nature the only relationship that is there is parents using parents can you define a relative or spouse okay that's about it for this thing we'll see more in the next lecture